Good afternoon, viewers. This is Ego Kenneth Nathan, and I'm going to continue with my Let's Play of Tide the Fascinating Tiger. We previously left off doing the third segment of Bridge on the River Tide, and this is the fourth segment. We previously left off um, from over here. We defeated Nettie in the last part. Check. Oh, it's right above. Okay, we're done in, in this part of the bridge. It's time to go back this way. Well, apparently it's that platform there that, that, that gets uh, lowered down to, to move the, through the water. Let's see, I think it's towards uh, where Dennis's house is, is probably where that um, it'll be possible to get that golden cog and a few uh, extra opals on that path too and a bat they're really easy to they're really uh, um they're really not that easy to hit and they can catch us off guard oh, i don't know what that was okay there we go that bat's history oh shoot i fell off uh, Oh, brother. There is a golden cog under the, the, this bridge, bridge around this corner. There's a certain bridge that definitely has a golden cog under, right under it. We'll come across it eventually. Might as well see what's up here. Oh, all right, a magnet. Oh, that's not useful. And that here right now. And there was that that opal there. Oh wait, there's another one there too. That got that got messed with. Them. Darn it! What a miscalculation from uh, um, uh, on my part. You know what? Maybe we might as well help out Dennis in this in this one. While grabbing uh, these extra uh, opals along the way. Oh, and my first attack for, uh, hit from that guy. From these guys. See how annoying they are? They can get you from behind before you know it. We are apparently, oh wait, we are going the right way. We're going uh, this way to get to him. And I missed a crate up here, I might as well grab it before I forget, it, forget about it. Scared of anything. Hello, uh, um, uh, yes, uh, could you kindly escort me home? No worries. We need to use the flame ring, obviously, to, uh, and hit those. We better take out any enemies that are nearby because he'll just stop. That's the next one to hit. Magnet, not useful for this point. He is not that fast. Oh, let's not run into him. Let's make sure that, that he can keep up, plus we can keep up with him. So 
far so good. We should make it to his house before we have to stop the part. This is the next one. And now we have to hit this one. I took care of that bat over there, so we we don't have to worry about him stopping for to, to try to to try to like be scared of that. This house is just uh, the, the here, obviously, and here's the, the extra um, ovals. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, that's the next one. Okay, it takes care of that. Yep, we're gonna make it. Just the moment we get the Thunder Acre for the reward, we can stop this part. A good, a good spot. Oh, whoops, we missed that one. Okay, there we go. That takes care of that one. Mission anyway, we'll have to do another mission for him. Ah, well. home sweet home. I made it thanks to you. I'm not sure if you are, but I have a magnificent collection of thunder eggs. I insist that you have one. Actually, let's finish the part off when he talks about his next problem. Or, no, let's not. Let's stop it here. Thank you so much for watching the fourth segment of Urge on the River Tie, and I'll do the fifth segment as soon as more room is left in the camera. Ego Kenneth Nathan signing off.